Hello, it's Paul. I'm going to answer this question from Tom in the Facebook group really quickly on how to see in Zoll CRM when you send an email um, that it's been clicked or it's bounced. So basically when I send an email through the CRM, I get the notification that it was received and one when it was opened. I do not get a notification when they click on a link, nor a notification when it bounced, right? Okay, so... You go to your CRM, we're going to send an email. So I'm going to find, uh, da, da, da. I'm going to send it to me, right? So let's go test. Let's go this one. Test Paul Nicholson, right? So I'm going to send an email to, to my test email account, right? So I'm just going to sit, click test. And I'm, going to, I'm just going to show you. So, sorry, it, we want to show when it's clicked or if it bounces, right? So... We're going to put um, test click, right? So let's test click uh, both links, right? So I'm going to show you why this happens and what you need to do. Um, before I do that, let me just close this. Let's just go to setup and make sure that you've got in your email, in this email intelligence, you've got email insights highlighted. So you go to setup, email, and then email intelligence highlighted email open clicked uh, open click time and record details page email status in the filter uh, and reports and stuff like that so you need this switched on so make sure you go to set up email email intelligence right so now let me go back to my test uh, Paul test test right so I'm gonna send an email but I'm going to show you why your click doesn't work. So here we go. Uh, test, uh, open, and click both links. Right. So what happens is you will put, hello, here's the web page for you. And you'll probably put in something like z1trial.com. Right. So that's my Zoho One trial. Uh, email what you really need to do is I'm gonna put this one will work and you can put in here z1trial.com the same or I'll do it the same just to prove but this time you've got to highlight it and actually make it a link here what's the URL the URL is HTTPS z1trial.com right link tool tip you can put if you want or you could put click here for the trial and then highlight all this and make that a link, right? Again, third1trial.com, right? So when you send it, so I'm going to send that to that email. I've got my email on. Yeah, I'm going to get a beep when it comes through. There it is. So obviously no notification yet, but now when I go to here, it's going to say I've opened it, right? So here, look, here's the notification. Test, test, open. So it's opened, right? So now I'm going to close this. And what happens on that first link where you didn't highlight it as a link, it showed up as a link, look. But if I click that, open the link, there's no notification, right? So it's just opened. Now, the link that we highlighted and made it a link, so look, you can see, so this is actually for um, uh, Tom. I said that it would need some sort of code to it. Now look at that, look at this link. It's got no, it's got no highlight, right? It's got no um, little pop out. Whereas this one, look at look at the text that's there. HTTPS sender3.zoinsights.com. So it's it's added a link to that code that's trackable and to this one, but this one hasn't got one, right? So now when I click this, as another email comes in. Let me turn my sound off, actually. So now I've clicked, look, clicked. So now when I click that second link, the one that had that funky link change to it, it says open and clicked, right? And it would also, I'm not sure you're going to give me another notification for clicking that. 
Oh. Clicked. Test open, right? So when I go here, sometimes it takes a little while to update. But there it is there, look. So now it says clicked here, look. Last first click 919. It's been clicked twice. And there's your information, right? It's got a little hand, but you can't click anything. So we got opened at 918 and clicked at 919. So what? Let's just go through that again. When you go to send mail and put in add link, click, click here, paulnicholson.com, right? That will know it's a link, but it won't make it into a, a coded link. Uh, I mean, click here, paulnicholson.com. I need to highlight this. Insert link, this one here, insert link, https, paulnicholson.com, go to Paul's website. If you want to put tooltip, it's just a little highlight that will come. I mean, and you might want to just highlight, click, uh, https, uh, where should we go, zoho.paulnicholson.com, right? Zoho1 forum link right okay so we know this is going to be a link but it won't be a trackable link so be careful when you're putting stuff in there that you're not highlighting and then we know that we've made these two links so when we click send we are going to get an email I'll leave it open too much because there might be other stuff people don't want to see so this is a click, this is a click, this is the uh, the other one. So we can close this. There's the email. Here's the email, right? So again, we know that this won't, HTTP, paulnicholson.com won't work. Whereas this one, with that, it's going to do a little pop-up. With the actual little funky trackable link. Look at the link. This one's just paulnicholson.com, it won't work. Right, click add link. Sorry, test open add link. In fact, that one did work, didn't it? That time, open and clicked 921. Clicked add link. That's the one we sent, right? So, I actually did sort of pick it up. Maybe it's because no, it's not. Um, but you've got to be careful. So, what I'm saying is, it, it can be sketchy whether it's going to work or not, right. Now the emails have vanished. It does take a little time to come, right? Test and open click. So the other one isn't there yet. Test, test. Oh yeah, sorry, this is the first one. I'm not sure what I'm talking about. Add link, click. Uh, add link, click. So it did actually work that. That did work that time. I don't know why, but it's this one that will definitely work when you've highlighted it. Cause see the sender dot, the sender dot, um, you know, the sender three dot Zoho insights here, yeah, the sender three Zoho insights. Right. So those ones will work more often. I was surprised the first one worked, but it did work, didn't it? So you can try to leave it, but, I'm not sure you want to. Uh, so it says open and click 921. So it did work. It did the second one, but we saw on the first one, it definitely didn't work. So the z1trial.com link was the same as paulnicholson.com, but it, the second time it worked, right? So, and then it, it may, it does take some time for it to load it in. But it can be confusing with my email because, uh, oh, it's there now. Uh, because I'm using a catch-all email, right? Look, test one, two, three, four at my main email address. So here we got it. We got linked, clicked today. So bizarrely, the second one did work. But anyway, make sure you highlight the link and create it as a proper link um, so it can be tracked. Now let's talk about bounced. Bounce is a bit different. And if I'm going to met this, if I met this, um, you know, let's just do... Let's do that. Right, that is not somebody's email address, right? So now, if I send an email, the bounce again was a little bit flaky when I tested it. 
test bounce, right? Bounce this email. But what I said to you in the other thread um, was it'll come to your email, right? So this is my email here. I think it's an auto update. But when that bounce there, look, 40. See, that's 40. The mailer demon, you've got a reply saying you've sent an email here that doesn't work. So you know that that is um, a bounced email from something you've tried to send from your uh, Zoho CRM, right? There isn't a notification on that bounce. And I might need to go into it further to work out where it would be. Uh, it's supposed to be there. And if you could go into sales inbox, I think... I think it's supposed to be an era. You're supposed to try to set up a view for it. Look, you can see there. There's the, there's the um, the bounced email in his old CRM inbox in sales inbox, but you'll probably want to see it as a notification. So I just need to work out exactly where that's gone to. I think you, I think it said create a separate view. For for bounced emails, but like I say. Whatever email you've sent it to, it's bounced back to that email address, unless you're not checking that email. But I would thought, whether you're emailing through your CRM, you would be looking for replies to that email. So even though it doesn't notify you that there's a bounced, um, there's a bounced email, uh, it may do. I need to set it. I need to. I'll go into it deeper. But you will get an email saying it's bounced, right? Cool. Uh, keep questions coming. You know we've got a we've got a uh, an online training group for Zoho CRM and everything else. We've got a, a Zoho forum for all things Zoho, where you can jump in and ask questions. And then there's Zoho training um, for all things Zoho as well. And it's all free. Just jump in, dive in. There's nobody there's nobody on there at a minute. Um, uh, don't get stuck. Ask your questions. I'll always try and help. Cheers.